Doing a lot of good stuff, Alan, as a matter of fact. But the NBA, as you mentioned, has taken over the United Center. Uh, they put up the mural that you see behind me. No Bulls players on that mural, by the way. But NBA players are uh, all over town visiting uh, schools, making appearances, and trying to do some good. It may seem like a lopsided game, but the team from Dunbar High School is holding its own against the team of former NBA and WNBA players. The game is just part of the reason the retired pros are here, though, encouraging the predominantly African-American student body to focus on school and learning financial literacy are the subjects of a panel discussion before the game. We cannot be a race of being in debt. We have to be a race of, you know, being able to forge forward and leave something behind for the next generation. Another group of NBA stars visited Lurie Children's Hospital, talking to patients, signing autographs, and posing for pictures. And a few miles away, Los Angeles Lakers star Anthony Davis visited students at his alma mater, Perspectives Charter School, <laughs> unveiling a new hands-on lab where students can get creative with learning stations involving music, video, and robotics. They got a little bit of everything, real life stories, and they were able to feel and touch these NBA legends, and that means a lot. And for a group of Dunbar students, an even bigger treat. The group handed out college scholarships to some of the school's top students. I got 13000 a year. That could come in handy. Yeah, uh -huh. it really could. And that girl is their top GPA student uh, at the senior class at Dunbar. One and a half million dollars worth of scholarships being given away in total there. One other event we should mention tonight going on over at Soldier Field, Reverend Jesse Jackson hosting the fundraiser with a lot of NBA stars for the Rainbow Push Coalition. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.